Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the programming in C++ Chapter 1 Study Guide and Review. It's me, Amanda. Oh, one more thing. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you are unable to do that, you will need to log in. If you do not have a YouTube account, you can create an account. It is free and takes less than a minute. No, let's get started. Ever wondered how these pesky machines we call computers came to be? Well, saddle up because we're about to gallop through the wild west of computer history and then mosey on over to the land of C++ programming. First off, let's wrangle in the history of computers. Way back in the dusty old days of the 1940s, the first electronic computers were like giant mechanical bulls. Huge, noisy, and about as user-friendly as a rattlesnake. But fast forward a couple of decades, and now we've got these sleek, powerful stallions running on our desks. Now what makes these modern day horses run? They're built on a few key elements, hardware, software, and firmware. Think of hardware as the steed itself, the physical components. Software is like the saddle and reins, telling the hardware what to do, and firmware is the tricky cowboy making sure everything works together smoothly. So how do we talk to these magnificent beasts? Enter the language of computers. Computers speak in binary, ones and zeros, which is like trying to read Morse code during a stampede. A bit is the digit zero or one. Lucky for us, programming languages like C++ come to the rescue, making it easier to communicate with our digital partners. Speaking of languages, they've evolved faster than a jackrabbit on a hot skillet. From the early days of assembly language to high-level languages like C++, each step made programming more powerful and more accessible. Now let's chew the cud on C++ specifically. When you're processing a C++ program, it's all about problem analysis, writing code, and execution. It's like preparing for a rodeo. You analyze the problem, write your strategy, and then it's showtime. There are different programming methodologies from the straightforward procedural programming to the fancy schmancy object-oriented programming, which is like organizing a cattle drive with each cow having its own special tag and purpose. In object-oriented design, the first step in the problem-solving process is to identify the components called objects and to determine how these objects interact with each other. Finally, let's tip our hats to the ANSI ISO standard C++. This standard ensures that our C++ code is as reliable as a trusty steed, no matter where you are or what compiler you're using. ANSI ISO were established to standardize the syntax of C++. It has a 7-bit code. So, whether you're new to the coding corral or a seasoned wrangler looking to brush up on your skills, C++ has got your back. Main memory consists of an ordered sequence of memory cells. Memory is broken down into smaller sections. An address is a unique location in main memory for each cell. A program called a compiler translates instructions written in high-level languages into machine language. Remember, the wild frontier of coding is vast, but with patience and practice, you'll be riding high in no time. A loader loads an executable program into main memory for execution. An operating system monitors the overall activity of the computer and provides services. A program called Assembler translates the assembly language instructions into machine language. Machine language is what the language of a computer is called. The problem-solving process has three steps. Analyze the problem and design an algorithm. Implement the algorithm in a programming language and maintain the program. Structured design divides a problem into smaller subproblems. Examples of high-level programming languages are C++, Java, and Fortran. An object program is the machine language version of the high-level language program. NAC++ program. Statements that begin with the hash symbol are called preprocessor directives. Word processors, games, and spreadsheets are examples of application programs. A program called the linker combines the object program with other programs in the library and is used in the program to create the executable code. That was a rough ride. To see more videos like this, please click in the rectangle in the middle of your screen. To see other videos from this channel, please click the circle on the bottom right. Thanks for tuning in, partners. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a trail ride with us. Happy coding!